Rennie, do you remember what a keyboard is? Yes, of course. A keyboard is a device which is used to type data and instructions on the computer. Very good. Now, tell me what are the different types of keys on the keyboard? Mm, they are the alphabet keys, the number keys and... Mm, mm. <laughs> I think you need some revision about the different types of keys on the keyboard. Yes, it's been such a long time. I have forgotten about some of them. Please refresh me. Okay. A keyboard has different set of keys on it. They are the alphabet keys, number keys, function keys, cursor keys and special keys. Right now, I will not forget about them. Then tell me what the alphabet keys are. Mm, the keys that have letters from A to Z on them are called the alphabet keys. We use these keys to type words. As there are 26 alphabets in the English language, so there are 26 alphabet keys on the keyboard. Good! You remember. Now do you know what a QWERTY keyboard is? I think they are the most commonly used keyboards. In these keyboards, the alphabets are not arranged in the order from A to Z. They are arranged as QWERTY. That means Q, W, E, R, T, Y. And so on from the first row. So they are called QWERTY keyboards. Correct, Rini. Now what are the number keys are? The keys that have numbers printed over them in the keyboard are called number keys. These keys are present on the top row, just above the alphabet keys. And where is the numeric pad? It is the number key on the right side of the keyboard. How can we use the numeric pad? To use the numeric pad, we need to press the num lock on first. Correct. You have a very good memory, Renny. <laughs> Thank you, Kiko. Now, which are the cursor control keys? Mm. Mm. Let me remind you. These four arrow keys on the right side of the keyboard are called cursor control keys. The four keys are called right, left, up and down arrow keys. These keys help to move the cursor of the mouse, move in any specific direction in the screen. Thanks, Clico. I have almost forgotten about them. Which are the special keys? Mm, oops, I have forgotten. <laughs> Try to remember. Mm, yes, now I remember. The special keys are required to perform some special functions. Some of the special keys work in the combination with other keys. Right, Rennie. Let me tell you more about the functions of different special keys. Yes, please do. Let's start with backspace key. The backspace key is used to delete a letter, word or paragraph typed on the left side of the cursor on the screen. The caps lock key activates the lower case into upper case. It is used to type in capital letters. When you press this key, a light glows on the top right of the corner of the keyboard, indicating that the caps lock is on. The space bar key is the longest key on the keyboard. It is present as a horizontal bar in the lowermost row of the keyboard. It is used to provide a blank space between two words. The enter key is used to move the cursor to the beginning of the next line. The enter key is also used as a command key to make the computer carry out an action when it is pressed. Really, look at the number keys. They have a symbol printed above the number. If you wish to type the symbol, you need to press the shift key and the number key together. So the shift key is used to type the upper character of the keys on the keyboard. The shift key 
is also used to type in capital letters. If we press the shift key and an alphabet key together, the alphabet is typed in the uppercase. I think the shift key is a better option than the caps lock key when we need to type only a single capital letter in the beginning of a word. Absolutely. The delete key is used to delete anything typed wrong on the right side of the cursor. In case you have typed apple instead of apple, you can erase the extra E by moving the cursor before the letter E using the arrow keys and pressing the delete key once. So, that was all about the special keys. What about the function keys? The keys marked from F1 to F12 are called the function keys. These keys are used to perform some special functions. For example, the function key F1 is used for help and the function key F3 is used for searching a file or document. Now, I guess you know about all the different types of keys in the keyboard. Yes, I do know. Thank you, Clico. But Rennie, do you know that we should handle the keyboard with care? Really? Yes, the keyboard is an important part of the computer. So while using the keyboard, keep these points in mind. Do not push or pull the keyboard too hard as it may damage the wire connected to the keyboard. While typing, press the keys gently and remove your fingers quickly from the key or else the same key will get typed repeatedly. Lastly, do not keep anything on the keyboard such as book, CD-ROMs or food items. Yes, I will keep these points in mind.